Well, Alejandro Ganacho is rumored to be United's number seven. That is shirt number seven. That one of the shirts I've seen at United being rested for a very, very long time. But obviously, Ganacho is gonna Ganacho is gonna hate to really scoop a chance or stands a chance to be United's number seven. It's coming in from a close source, coming in from a United Samuel Lucas, and you know he's the United correspondent for the Manchester Evening News. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys? And where you're watching us from, I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss that on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. We are discussing Anthony Elanga, another huge update of being linked to Borussia Dortmund and it looks like United have gone ahead to really get his price lower to see to that they really endeavor all favor his move on. And lastly, Ahmad Diallo, shocking story coming in from Fabrizio Romano, looking like his chances are slimming down, you know, to not gate into the starting 11 of Man United or the squad of United for the season of 2023-2024. Let's see close to 200 likes, smash this video and don't forget to subscribe. How do you subscribe? Lower right bottom corner is the place to be. Smash the black button that has the word subscribe. After smashing it, hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified every time we upload a video onto our YouTube channel. Now, let's go eyes. Not so Hope you guys are ready. Let's talk about Alejandro Ganacho. Now, Samuel Lucas, United correspondent for the Manchester Evening News, has confirmed us that Man United are considering making Alejandro Ganacho their new number seven as his stra strato stratospheric rise continues. So, stras stratospheric. Oh, I've not gotten that word right, but as his form really continues at Manchester United, as his <coughs> as his way of playing really gets to the next level, Alejandro Ganacho is going to be made the United number seven. Now, let's talk about shirt number seven at Man United. Who was the recent person to don it and obviously become great? Obviously, Ronaldo. He was the one who really came in and gave it back and, and gave it life. And um, David Beckham <coughs> was another academy graduate of Man United who really gave this shirt the shine that he deserved and it looks like we are getting another player coming in from the academy who is going to give this shirt number seven a star shine and it has taken close to two decades two decades plus for United to find themselves in a sort of position of obviously having Alejandro Ganacho getting this job over the line as far as the <coughs> shirt number seven is concerned when you look at the other shirt number sevens that really came in through uh, after Ronaldo because when David Beckham left it looks like that shirt was really rested and mm, 2003 right that's when he left 2003 David Beckham was still around Ronaldo came in through and obviously he was given shirt number seven Ronaldo gave it life and when Ronaldo departed in 2009 that shirt number was really rested then michael owen came in through i think it was 2010 he played a role into he played a role into that shirt number seven but it was not up to the standards then angel di maria came in through requested for it he's one of those players that flopped in that shirt number there was antonio valencia i had forgotten him <clears throat> who really dropped it and dumped it he was the immediate player that came in through and was obviously given that shirt number when Ronaldo had just left and he dumped it. Then it found Michael Owen. Then after Michael Owen, Angel Di Maria, all those are flops. Then Memphis Depay under the era of Louis Van Hal came in through and said, get me that shirt number seven. Get me that shirt number seven. And he was given that shirt number seven. After that shirt number being given to him, obviously, he flopped at Man United. And it was until Edson Cavani came in through and he was given that shirt number that he scored 17 goals in the season of 2020-2021. Ronaldo Cristiano came back and Edson Cavani surrendered the shirt back to its owner and he fired in 24 goals in his first return season at Man United, scoring 16 in the league and 8 into I think he scored 18 in the league and he scored 6 into the Champions League to take the tally to 24. That is Cristiano Ronaldo 
for you. So, Ganacho is a very perfect player to get that shirt number seven. Why? He's an academy graduate. Secondly, he knows exactly what that shirt number seven means. And when you look at his traits, he portrays on the field of play. Obviously, he looks like the ideal shirt number seven of Manchester United. And I understand that very many people had put out Prince of Hurricane that is going to be the new shirt number seven of Man United. And that it has not come to pass. Looks like United are considering Ganacho to take that shirt number. And I would support the board 100%. That's it. Ronaldo was given that shirt number when he was young. He was very, very, very young at the club of Manchester United. And uh, he found himself in a situation of getting, of getting his young foot into a big boot of David Beckham. And that shirt number had been elevated to a level that it's the iconic number at Manchester United. Like you see teams like Madrid, they have some shirt numbers that are really iconic at Manchester United. The iconic number is 7. At Arsenal, the iconic number is 14. Thierry Henry. Um, at Liverpool, can it be shirt number 8? <laughs> right? Steven Gerrard. Um, <clears throat> at, uh, at Chelsea, I think it's 8 and 15. Um, Didier Drogba and Frank Lampard writing history. Um, Barcelona, it's shot number 10 at Barcelona. Shot number 10. Maradona, Messi, Ronaldinho, right? That's Barcelona for you. At Real Madrid, I think shot number 7. One of the iconic shots there. So every team has its iconic shot number. And uh, for Manchester United, number 7 is the iconic shot number. And that's why they want to give it to Alejandro Ganacho. Now, one will ask Rokan, if at all, you know, it happens to sign Harry Kane. If United happen to sign Harry Kane, he'll get another usual number until when maybe next season, Anton Martial is moved on and they get him shot number 9. But I understand shot number 10 is the shot that he really prefers to have. But they cannot get it from Marcus Rashford because he has worked for it and last season has gone ahead to fire in 30 goals. So... As it stands, it's all about Alejandro Ganacho, and I'm excited about the young lad because he deserves this shirt number. He has the attitude, you know. He has the hearts of the war. He has the heart of a warrior. The way he gets that ball and obviously attacks that space shows you how much he can offer to the team of Man United. And that's why I came out and insinuated or issued a warning to Marcus Rashford that this season that you're going to start on the 6th of August, 2023 and 24, he needs to really pay a lot of attention to detail on what he does because Ganacho is going to push to have more playing time at the club of Man United and that's what exactly Ten Hag told him and his parents when he elevated and they got him a new contract of five years. He told him now you have to push to be into the first 11. That's Eric Ten Hag for you and when you look at the Ganacho if he never got injured would have gone ahead to quite close to 10 goals this season and we anticipate that next season is going to be in double figures and is really going to hit loads of targets and break most of records at Manchester United. He's almost in the footsteps of Ronaldo because when I look at Ronaldo in his first season at Man United, let me see, Ronaldo, what was his output? Cristiano Ronaldo at Manchester United. In that season that saw him coming through and obviously fire in goals and um it's not yet shown here but he never put in lots of goals like ganacho because ganacho this season is going to hate to score close to four five goals and put up assists and i think he was coming off the bench most of the times but for ronaldo in his first season he started very many games than alejandro ganacho so we anticipate that ganacho is going to start more games if at all he's given a shot number seven that shot number is iconic and it means a lot it shows the potential the player is going to hate to portray to the board and to Eric Ten Hag to approve him to be the holder of that iconic shirt number. Let's leave that. Let's go to Anthony Elanga, Borussia Dortmund, coming in through and obviously rekindling their interest in signing Anthony Elanga. Manchester United open to offers. Figures at Manchester United are said to have lowered the evaluation of Anthony Elanga to only 10 million pounds asking price. 
obviously this is another academy player <coughs> that cannot break through into the starting 11 of man united and even making to the bench it's really hard for him and this is where we're coming through and obviously take him out of the team i understand Ralph Ragnick gave him a very good debut for man united he came in through played very many games scored goals close to seven that season and he looked a bright spark into that united side and the reason as to why Ten Hag never moved him on. It was because of Alejandro Ganacho misbehaving in the preseason because of his attitude and he never took part into the preseason. And that's why Ganacho never started the season of Man United. But if Ganacho had gone ahead to really play in the preseason, I think Eric Ten Hag would have gone ahead to move on Anthony Elanga because he would have known that I'm having another player who can really play that side very well. And I anticipate that. If at all we had Ganacho start that season, from the word go, from the game lost to Brighton, would have gone ahead to kill off some good games because he has what we call the killer instinct in him. He comes off the bench and does the job. Now, for Arthur Elanga this season, he has been totally off, but I really understand he has traits of all hallmarks of becoming one of the big stars in this football. And I saw him at Sweden, what he did is scoring goals for fun for his team of Sweden. So. Borussia Dortmund is interested in him because ever since they lost Jordan Sancho, they've not gotten a player who can really play well on those wings. They got in Melanie from, from that Dutch side and obviously he has failed to fit the boots, to fit the boots of, of Jordan Sancho. And these are the sort of signings that Borussia Dortmund does. You know, that's how they bought Borussia, that's how they brought Jordan Sancho, that's how they bought Erin Haaland, that's how they bought Judy Bellingham and they happen to unceasingly get in talents that really shock the world and I think if you know what improvement is done to players at Bush and Hotman if you're the agent of Anthony Elanga you'd like to, him to go that side yeah and I think he's one of those players that we have to offload and get in 10 million pounds to finance the transfer budget of Eric Ten Hag but I would love to see United putting in a sell clause that if at all they are selling the player maybe united gets like 20 percent like so man city when they are selling Jordan sancho to borussia dortmund i think they sold him at like seven million pounds they told them that but if at all you are selling him have a percentage so even if you put a percentage of 20 percent if they sell him at uh 60 million pounds because i believe if at, if at all goes to german is going to hit the ground line running and fire all cylinders so they sell him at 60 million pounds that means United is going to get in some 12 million pounds back to the club of Manchester United. That will be good business and <clears throat> we wish him well. He's one of those players that you anticipate he's going to be moved on by Manchester United. Then let's do something concerning Ahmad Diallo. Ahmad Diallo. Ahmad Diallo, Fabrizio Roman has told us that Ahmad Diallo's future is still open. Manchester United will make final decision on Ahmad in the next weeks. He hopes for first team chance, but it's up to Ted Hag. Understand in case Man United decide to loan Ahmad out, the player's preference will be Sunderland again. I don't think United can make a mistake and obviously loan Ahmad Diallo back to the championship. Why? The reason as to why he was loaned back to the championship was, sorry, he was loaned to the championship because there was no interest in the Premier League, you know? Patrick Vieira who wanted him last summer but one couldn't accommodate him so that's why he went to Sunderland but with three teams interested in him we have Everton we have um, Burnley and uh, there is a third team there are three Premier League teams that are interested into signing Ahmad Diallo on loan so I don't see Ahmad Diallo going on loan before doing the preseason Ten Hag will have to first assess him during the preseason and see whether he's going to meet his criteria at Man United. If at all he doesn't really meet it, then Ten Hag will propose a loan. I understand Sunderland is wanting him. He also said that he would love to go back to Sunderland, but the technical director that is Darren Fletcher, who won't sanction such a move for a player because he believes there is so much more in this player than highly. Sorry, there is so much in this play. If at all he's playing the Premier League, than playing into the Championship. And if at all you are grooming a player to become a player for you in the Premier League, 
from the championship elevate him to go ahead and really play into the Premier League. And it's not because that there are no teams interested. Teams have lined up their interest in the player and obviously we wait and see how that is going to go ahead and obviously come out or pan out. So guys, your thoughts on to Ganacho being given United's iconic shirt number, that is shirt number seven, I welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about Anthony Elanga, 10 million pound sale to Borussia Dortmund and Ahmad Diallo prospect at Man United? Would you want him to be loaned or you want him to come back at Man United and obviously compete with Anthony for that right attacking midfield spot in the starting 11 of Manchester United? A sign out for now. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living God protect you abundantly. Me out. Bye bye.